Hi, Andrew Andrew. We are at the Play Company at the new Ohio Theater, about to see the Golden Dragon. The Golden Dragoon. Now, there is a pre-show. Yes, that's why we're wearing these big old headphones. Yes. You take um, a 15-minute audio, what do they call it? It's Sounds an audio hit? adventure. An it's audio sound adventure. Walk. It's a walkabout with sound. Should we talk about what the show's about a little bit, maybe? It takes place in a Chinese takeout restaurant. Where somebody has a toothache and an extraction leads to complication. We'll see you after this little walk. Okay, so we decided to do a little mini review of the audio landscape tour. The sound walk. I hope that there's elements from the sound walk that is incorporated in the show. Some of the elements were in reference to food and to Chinese food in this particular Chinese restaurant over here, which I believe maybe is now the setting. There. I wish they would have gotten David Byrne to read it. But there were moments that I... I, I it was interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Um, people uh, overestimate the possibilities of this. I always feel like when I when I do something like this, it, it sounds really exciting, and then you do it, and you're like... Eh. I want to know if this is part of the show, or if this was added just for New York. We'll see you after the show. We just had a, a little moose boost. A little moose boost. And I'm, now I'm really hungry for theater. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Fortune cookies. Okay, the whole audio tour at the beginning, the hobby makes sense now. And it, as the show developed, it started to make more and more sense. My fortune, an important word of advice, may come from a child. It's as though they wrote the script and the soundscape at the same time, but they didn't. The soundscape was done after the show with the sound designer, which leads me to another great thing about the show. There's a Foley artist making all the sound effects and the soundtrack of the show live off to the side, all with items from Chinatown. This is a really special show, and the big star of the show is the direction. The um, direction was absolutely off the hook phenomenal. Oh my god, I want to call out the director and the author. Both of their names are, it's hard for me to pronounce, so there they are. The director and the playwright, outstanding. Also, whole cast, a great ensemble. I was so concerned that the recent glut of Broadway shows had ruined my taste for this sort of theater, but it did not. This is a tremendous antidote to Broadway and to big produced shows. Now, let me tell you something. In, in all honesty, this is not your typical show. It's a slow burn. It's confusing at first. It's a bit like watching an animated Quentin Tarantino film. It has hints of Ionesco. It has hints of Jean-Claude Bonatelli. If you like mythology, paraphrased spoken stage directions, pantomime, and insect prostitution, this is the show for you. Oh my god. Really strange show. It's lost. It's sort of like Lost, where everything's confusing, and then everything it, falls, it all kind of it makes falls sense, into yeah. Where everyone worked very well together, and especially under the constraints of a small black box theater, they brought a performance that was coordinated within an inch of its life. You know what my fortune said? What? A green light ah. for the Golden Dragon, now playing at the, Ohio the new Ohio Theater. Make sure you get there for the audio tour, that's half the fun, and afterwards we suggest you go to the Golden Walk, take out across the street. Who knows what you'll find in your soup?